Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the Viking, of course, and I want to do a quick video about actually what is Zack Snyder's Justice League in 2021? Because for years we fought for a 214 version. That's what Zack hinted, that's what his runtime was. That's what the cut that he showed Warner Brothers. That's the cut that they didn't like. That's the cut that he they made him not really do. Josh Whedon was brought in. We know all that stuff. But for years we fought for the 214 cut of Justice League. And what was that cut? Well, that cut had a lot of Jeff Johns dialogue. Jeff Johns scenes. It had red and blue Superman suit. It had the step move that we got to see in 2017. But the cut that Zack Snyder is bringing in 2021 is very much different we get to see a black suit superman which is great the step mold design is already changed which is great it looks more scary it doesn't look less it looks in 2017 it looked anime it looked like the facial expressions just did not care about what was going on so finally that's going to be changed but now it's 240 minutes plus plus additional photography is has been added visual effects have been changed have been altered have been improved Scenes are being put back in. Scores being put back in. So the film that we would have got in 2017 is completely different from the film that we're going to get in 2021. Big time. If it came out in 2017, it would have been two hours, 2.15, maybe two and a half hours. And that's about it. And then probably a director's cut just like Batman v Superman, just like Watchmen. But it definitely wouldn't have been this epic that we're going to get in 2021. And that makes me think, was Darkseid ever going to appear in the 2017 version whatsoever? Because for a while ago, we didn't even know that he appeared in the movie. So it's fascinating in that degree. But also we have to take into account that this is going to be on HBO Max as a streaming service series. Zack Snyder's Justice League is going to be split up into four parts. One hour parts, probably 65 minutes, maybe 70 minutes, depends what they do. The additional photography will add a bit to that. But what exactly is Zack Snyder's Justice League? Well... It's going to be a series on HBO Max, four parts. You can watch that. Also, when that is aired, you can watch it as a complete movie. A complete movie. So that's four hours plus of a movie. Also, Zack said that he wants to release a black and white version of the movie. That's the version of the movie that he was editing, that he was watching for years when he left Warner Brothers. That's the cut that he brought with him. That's the cut that Jason Momoa and many others have seen, the black and white version of this film. So that means a lot to Zack, big time. He also wants to do a theatrical release of the film in some in some degree. Now, if that's going to be another Snyder Con. I don't know if it's going to get released in some parts that don't have a HBO Max. I don't know. But this movie, this series, is more than what we would have got in 2017. It's bigger. It's better. It's badder, if you per se. But you can sit down, you can watch the four episodes week by week, or whatever way they're going to release them, one every two weeks. Probably one a week. That seems like the realistic way to do it. Then, when that's over, you can put them all together. They'll put them together for you, of course. You can sit down and watch a four-hour-plus movie. Then you can watch that movie in black and white. Then you can go see that movie in the theaters. Then probably you can buy that movie on Blu-ray, and whatever else you want to do. So this is going to be the biggest thing of a comic book movie of all time. No movie in the comic book movie genre. And no movie probably in the history of cinema has gone through something like this. I know Blade Runner has, has had so many cuts. Rocky IV is getting a director's cut. Godfather Three is getting a, a re-ending and, and, and a redoing a new title and all that stuff. But this is a movie that came out in 2017. It's coming out as a series in 2021. It's going to be a movie in colour. It's going to be a movie in black and white. It's going to be released in a theatrical experience in probably black and white, maybe colour as well. So there's so much to Zack Snyder's Justice League that has me fascinated. And there's something here for absolutely everybody. If you don't like black and white, then just watch it in colour. If you don't want to watch the series week by week, which I strongly uh, recommend you do, if you in hope want a Zack Snyder's Justice League 2, then you can wait for the movie and watch that all together. If you don't want to watch it on your small screen, you can go to theaters and watch it wherever you are. But... It's fascinating, it really, really is. And I'll, I'll eat it all up. Now, here, I don't know what way it's going to happen. Well, the series will probably come. The movie will probably come. I don't know if a theatrical experience will come, but then COVID is also in the, in the way. But right now, as it stands, hopefully when COVID is gone or reduced by then, that's what we're going to be getting. And guys, that's fascinating. It really, really is. Imagine Avengers Endgame or Infinity War split up into a series and then black and white version that's what it's really like here it really is with these big characters like batman like superman like one of them it really is fascinating to me and i can't wait to see this 
so a black and white version too you can just go buy those tr that trailer today it looks really well in, in black and white also and they're not even finished the effects yet they're not even finished all that stuff so it's going to be even better by the time we do see it the rumored release date is in march 2021 that's not too far away guys either so the 214 version that we would have gotten 2017 in a way i'm glad we never got it because now we're getting much much more more in-depth look at these characters more villains more heroes and maybe a bigger chance of a justice league 2 coming now than we would have got in 2017 now zach of course is playing all that down he's just and i think that's the right way to be just concentrate on the snyder cut coming out and the success of that just concentrate on that because that's the most important thing right now the most important thing isn't spin-offs it isn't sequels it's about this film hitting home being a success creating buzz and people really enjoying it and this is the chapter end for Zack Snyder in the journey of the DCU in a way his trilogy was Man of Steel Batman v Superman and now Zack Snyder's Justice League and hopefully two and three do happen his five story arc is complete but if it's not I'm, I'm sure he gets some closure with this film even coming out now do I think Zack Snyder's Justice League will end in the cliffhanger hell yeah yeah, this film ain't gonna end too happy, guys. It'll, ha it'll end happy to an extent, but there will always be a tease. Look at Batman v Superman. Superman dies. Batman has to create the Justice League, but we get a hint of hope with Superman. There's a funeral at the end of the movie. That's only in Zack Snyder's second part. So do I think something big will happen at the end of Zack Snyder's Justice League? Yeah. Do I think it will tease a two and a three? Definitely. But we have to want that. We have to create that buzz. And average audiences have to check on this also. But look at how different this is. Look how different Steppenwolf is. Look how different Ben Affleck's Batman, Ray Fisher, Ezra Miller. All these guys look like different characters in a different story. Because you know what? That's exactly what it is. And I was just saying on Twitter the other day. There's never been a movie that I've known that I know so much about that I've seen so many still. I've I've heard directors, crew members, cast talk so much about seeing four or five trailers, TV spots, all that stuff. But again, not know exactly what happens in the movie. It's ridiculous. There's so much stuff that we don't know as a fan base about what happens in this movie. Even though that we've been shown a hell of a lot of stuff. But it gets me even excited day by day. But today is a day of celebration. More stuff are to come. I think Zack said he would release a minute and a half video. But Zack Snyder's Justice League, guys, is, is, it's fascinating to me. And it, it's, it's going to create so much discuss, discussion. In terms of, of books, probably documentaries, online discussions, things like that. It's just, it's it's a fascinating project. Even if you're not a fan of the DC Universe, DC characters, Zack Snyder Universe, it's fascinating. It really is. I can't believe I'm going to be sitting down to watch these characters that I, I actually love. I love these characters. I can't wait to see more of these characters. I'm going to be getting sitting down and watching them in episodes. Then a coloured movie. Then a black and white movie. And then hopefully a theatrical experience. And then hopefully I get to buy a, buy a Blu-ray. Like, how crazy is all this? This is, this is ridiculous. You wouldn't get that for Avengers Endgame or Infinity War. No, they didn't go through big traumas on set and things like that. But I think Warner Brothers or Warner Media or HBO Max or Zack Snyder, they're definitely making up to the fans for what we got in 17. And you have to pay huge respect to that. They are. They are trying to give the fans what they want and course direct everything that went bad. Now, does that mean the DCU on screen is going to be perfect from here on out? No. But we've got some interesting things to look forward to. Shazam 2, Aquaman 2, Wonder Woman 2, Flash. But the one that has my interest is Zack Snyder's Justice League because I've been on this journey for many years, much like a lot of you have been. And we want to see, not closure, of course we want more, but we want to see what we signed up for, what we paid for in twenty. 17 but guys let me know in the comments below what you think Zack Snyder's just like really is there's so much to it a lot of content we're getting it's evolved over time from 2017 but guys get in the comments and let me know have a good day